when you uh, connect all five keys to CASA, we're also going to give you this email. All right. Uh, so this email right here is your CASA sovereign recovery information. If anything happens to CASA, which is not, you know, um, you can always recover your Bitcoin, right? So your Bitcoin is not locked into the CASA system in any shape or form. Um, we use native Bitcoin multi-sig protocol in order to uh, create your wallet, and we just provide a nice UI UX on top of it. So um, what you'll see in this email are two public keys, the public key to your mobile key and the public key to your CASA key. And then you'll also see um, a derivation path, so it's very important to keep note of what that derivation path is when you set up your, uh, when you recreate it inside of your multi-sig. With multi-sig in general, you always want to write down the derivation path and the public keys, all right? So keep that in mind if, even if you're rolling your own multi-sig wallet. And then you're going to see a bunch of instructions here, and this will take you step by step on how you can um, recreate your multi-sig wallet inside of Electrum. But now, um, I'm just going to run through it right now. So um, the first step is you're going to open up Electrum. You're going to create a new wallet. I'm going to do BBB demo. Click next. And we're going to click multi-sig wallet. You're going to set the number of cosigners. The number of cosigners are five because there's five keys. And you want to require uh, three because our system is a three of five. If these parameters don't match our system, then it's not going to work. Okay, so try to set five cosigners uh, requiring three signatures. So click next. And uh, um, so just to recap, we're going to plug in five public keys to recreate this multi-sig inside of Electrum. The cool thing about this, it doesn't matter what the order of the five public keys are, right? So I can start off with my hardware wallets first, or I can start off with the public keys in this email first. It doesn't matter. You're still going to see the same multi-sig wallet, which is kind of cool. Okay, so now we just want to copy paste this mobile key. And we're going to click use master key right here. You're just going to paste it, click next, and you can just skip this part. This is technically, you know, the uh, master public key that you share with other people when you're creating a multi-sig wallet with them. Don't worry about that. Just click next. And then you're going to enter your cosigner seed, okay? So you're going to click that, and then you're going to grab the next recover uh, YPUB, and this is for the CASA key right here. And you're going to paste it into here. Oh, no, that's the seed. Whoops, my bad. Uh, cosigner key. All right, so you've now put in two uh, public keys. Super easy. The next part is we're going to actually plug in a hardware wallet. So I'm actually going to start off with my uh, work key with the Trezor. I'm going to co-sign this or add this as the third key. I'm going to plug in the Trezor and we're going to click Office right here. And then you're going to type in the pin. And then, okay, so this is the important part, right? Remember how I said you got to keep track of the derivation path? Do you see how this derivation path is different? If you put in, in a different derivation path into this field right now, you're not going to get the same multi-sig. So always keep that in mind when you're trying to um, recreate it. Keep note of the derivation path. Click Next. And then, so you're done. So I just connected my third. I want to connect my fourth, so I'm, I'm going to um, plug in my fourth treasure right here. There it is. Click that. Click. Whoa. Enter the pin. And again, we want the same derivation path. Click next. And then this is the fifth key right here. I'm going to plug in my ledger. This is my save key, the fifth key in my 305 multi sig wallet. Okay, so I want to type in the pin. Enter into the Bitcoin app so it says application is ready. Uh, click cosine hardware device. Should read read the ledger. One more time. Type in that derivation path. Super important. Um, typically, you can set a password, but we're not going to do that. And click next. All right. So the way that we can verify. Oh, it's going to ask me some questions because I connected. Uh, so what did I say? That you can verify that the multi-sig wallet that I created should be able to be verified in the uh, CASA app. And so, what was the address? 
36mm mm, uh, BSLQ, and that's what we see in the very top right here. Addresses match, you know that we just created a multi-sig wallet inside of Electrum that you can use outside of the Costa system to send and receive Bitcoin, right? So this is how you can trust, or you, you can verify that we are doing what we're doing. You don't have to trust us.